I ended the previous video by suggesting the following relationship between ns and s. So n of s is the number of boxes of side s needed to cover a certain object, and that will be given by this expression typically, where c is a constant. We have 1 over s to the d, where d is a dimension. So let's do box counting for the Sierpinski triangle, calculate this dimension, and we'll compare that to the self-similarity dimension. So here is a Sierpinski triangle, and I've made this a right triangle now, because it'll be easier to do, um, much easier to count boxes in this, in this form. So let's see. Here we go. If I line this up just like so, I can now count boxes. So the side here is a quarter. And let's see what we have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So n of s is 9. Um, right, in particular, note that I don't need to count this one. None of the shape is in this box. So I can pl could completely cover the shape, the Sierpinski triangle, with, with these 9 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Now let's go down a size. What if we had a side of an eighth? Find that sheet. So there we go, that's size of an eighth. And I'm gonna line it up like so, and let's see. So in order to cover this shape, I would need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine boxes. I don't need this one. The Sierpinski triangle isn't in there. And then I'll need another 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and another 9, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, 9, 9, that's going to give me 27. Okay, and let's, let's do one more, I guess. The next side will be a 16th, half of an eighth. Here's that. We can see that those are half the size as before. So now let's carefully line this up. And see what we're going to get. Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Let me line that up a little better. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that's just for this. So that 9 boxes there. But then there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 of those boxes. So the answer then, the total is going to be 9 times 9, or 81. So that's the data. Those are the numbers we would get from box counting for this Sierpinski triangle. So here's the data for the Sierpinski triangle side s, and the number of boxes that we need, n of s. So what we want to do is think about plugging these values into this equation, and our goal is d. We want to figure out the dimension. We saw in some previous examples that this constant c was 1. The first two examples we did, that was a case. So I'm just going to guess that c is 1 now. That's going to turn out to be correct, because I'm uh, really interested in this d. Later on, um, in the next subunit, or maybe the one after that, I'll talk about a more systematic way of dealing with both C and D at the same time. But let's assume that C equals 1. And that's not always a good assumption, but that's going to work out okay in this case, as I, I think I'll be able to demonstrate. So then we want N of S is 1 over S to the D. So let's plug in maybe these first uh, data points. So for n of s, I'll plug in 9. s is a quarter, so I've got 1 over a quarter to the d. 1 over a quarter is the same thing as 4. And then we have an equation where um, the unknown, the d, is in the exponent. So we'll take the log of both sides. So log 9 equals log 
4 to the d. Um, use a property of logs that log 9 equals d log 4. And then I can solve for the dimension by log, uh, dividing through by log 4. And let's see, maybe I'll do that over here. So then we've got d is log 4 over log 9. Oops, sorry, that's upside down. Let's try that again. d is log 9 over log 4. All right, that looks better. Sorry, dividing through by log 4. Okay, so this is the box counting dimension for the Sierpinski triangle. We could come up with a numerical value using a calculator. 9 log divided by 4 log. 1.585. That's about 1.585. So this um, should be familiar. This is the same number we got when we calculated the self-similarity dimension for the Sierpinski triangle. So let's review how we did that uh, really quickly. So the self-similarity dimension is given by d in this equation. Number of small copies in a large object is equal to the magnification factor raised to the d power, where d is the dimension. So for the Sierpinski triangle, we have 1, 2, three small copies, and the magnification factor is two. I need to take this length, stretch it by two to have this small copy be as big as the big one. And we can take logarithms and solve for d. Log three is d. Log two, d is log 3 over log 2. Let's see what that is. 3 log divided by 2 log equals 1.585. So, um, what we see in this case, and this is true in general, is that the self-similarity dimension defined by this and the box counting dimension defined by this is going to give you the same answer. In the next subunit, we'll look at this equation more closely, and I'll attach a little bit of fine print to this before we formally define the box counting dimension d. Um, and the reason we have to do this, and maybe you've already anticipated this trouble, is as follows. I've chosen the shapes and the box sizes so that they line up really nicely, so that there isn't any sort of like overlap or um, things sticking out the edges. But of course, in realistic settings, that's not always the case. So we're going to need to think about how to work with this equation uh, in slightly messier um, situations where the data um, isn't quite as clean. So we'll do that in the next subunit. But first, um, in the next quiz, you'll um, investigate some box counting for the Cantor set.